Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you this uh, Excel template to convert these uh, numbers here into amount in words without using VBA code. We're just going to use uh, simple formulas for that. And uh, let's begin with, with this. So this is the input cell. So this is uh, the, uh, the cell that you can input the numbers. And then this cell here is the uh, equivalent uh, mountain words with a formula here, but uh, this will be discussed later. Let's proceed with the template. So the first thing that we need is to have this text equivalent. So what I did here is to have this formula, text formula, and then the value will be any value that is in the input cell, and then the format will be like this. It's a nine zero that represents hundred millions, and then dot zero zero for the cents or the centavos. And that's it. That's important for formula. So that's the first thing. Now the currency here. Let's just discuss it later. So let's let's proceed with the table. So in the table, I uh, have divided it into like centavos, ones, tens, hundreds, and so on until I reach this hundred millions. So I just uh, made that so that I will not be confused. So let's proceed with this this row here, which is the text. Uh, in this case, let's proceed with this. I just use the mid formula. I use mid formula for all of this, for all uh, this uh, row here. So in this case, for the centavos, the mid formula will need the text equivalent here. And then the start number, so you're going to start with the 11th position, which is the one here. So you're going to count this, including the point or the dot, and proceed with one here which is in the 11th position, and then the number of characters will be 2. Display this 2 uh, value here, and that's what we need here. So the same thing with the ones, but in this case, uh, we just need to start with the 8th position, because we're going to evaluate ones and tens simultaneously, so we're going to need these two numbers here, the ones and the tens, the 8 and 9, and then the number character will be 2. So the tens here, it has the same for formula. You can just copy that. That's okay. But uh, I use this, the formula for that, the same formula. Then for the hundreds, that's different uh, because we have uh, started, we've started with the seventh position, which is the position of the hundreds here. And just display one character. We just need that uh, hundred because it displays just one to nine in every uh, amount that you you can input, right? So it's one to nine, no, no problem with the hundreds. Now in the thousand and thousands, it's almost the same with this, the ones and tens. If we proceed with the fifth position, the thousand and the 10,000 here, which is uh, the five and six, then uh, the number character will be two, the same formula with the thousands, and the hundred thousand, it's in the fourth position, which is written one, so that's it. The millions and ten millions, almost the same or exactly the same with the thousand, ten thousands, and ones and tens, but different, uh, different start number, which is in the second position, second and third here. Uh, the same formula with this in the in the hundred million. Just the uh, first position um, start uh, at one here in this example, and then retain one in the number character that's it this uh ones and tens thousands ten thousands millions and millions has the same uh almost the same formula and hundreds hundred thousand hundred millions the same almost the same formula and all of this using the mid so that's it that's very easy right so in this row convert to number uh just convert it into number in the sense, I have no formula for that. I have no use for the conversion of number. When I get to the word uh, row, so there's no formula for that. For the ones, what I did is to have an if statement. In the if statement, I have the first logical test. What I did is to get the left uh, value here, which is the 8, and then determine if it is not equal to 1. So any number, 0, two and so on except one if that is the value then return 
the right position here, which is the 9. We just wanted to get 1 to 9 values in the 1s and no other values, not 0. And then just retain one position here. And if that is false, if that is not uh, equal to 1, or if it's 0 or 2 or 3 or 4 and so on, that will become 0. So in this case, that is 9 because that is not equal to 1. It is not equal to 1. So the double negative here is just to convert this uh, value into number because this is a text. So the same thing here. So that's it. Now in the tense, almost the same. I used the if function, but what I did is to uh, have this uh, logical test if it's equal to zero if the left here if the eight here in the in this example is equal to zero then zero otherwise if this is not equal zero then retain the two values get the right and then retain, return the number character which is two which is 89 in this case that's why it returns 89 so that's it now uh let's try it if uh, the case is uh 10 uh not in here if the case is 10, then there should be no number here, but the number will be in the tens, right? That's the logic behind that. So that's 19, that's 20, but if it's 21, that should be broken down into 20 and the 1. So that's it. Let me go back to the original example here, point 10. Okay, so that's how it works in the ones and tens. Now in the hundreds, can just simply um, convert it into number with double negative here or an n formula or just multiply it into one that's okay hundreds we have no problem now in the thousand ten thousands hundred thousands because we already did this if statement here there's uh, three formulas here we're just gonna copy and paste it here because it's almost the same so that's it uh, that's working now. Just copy and paste it. Now, let's proceed with the word. So, in the word, in the sense here, again, using the if statement, the first uh, logical test is to this text here, converted into number, that is equal to zero, then return nothing. But if it has a value, then return end and a space and then the value here is slash uh, 100 so th this in this case in the formula it's the end and then 10 dash 100 that's it that's the use of this um cell here now in the ones what i did is to have a simple lookup function with it with an if and a so in the lookup we have this lookup value there is the number here we extracted then the look of vector will be here. We're going to need this table here. This is the unique word uh, for every numbers. So that's 1 to 20, and then 30, 40, 50, and so on, up to 90. So that's what we need. That's the result, uh, the look of vector, this uh, area here. And then the result vector will be the word. So that's it. I use the look up because even if it's 89, it returns 80 here in this example. So that's it. The same thing with here, uh, 56, but it retains or returns 50 and so on. So that's it. Just uh, make this formula here and then copy and paste it. That's it. Now in the remarks, we need uh, 100, this 100, or 1,000, or a million. <clears throat> so we have no formula here. We're going to start with 100. If there is a, a value here, then retain 100. That's the if, if statement here. If, uh, the, if uh, the cell here is nothing, then return nothing. If there is a value, then return 100. That's simple, right? Now, let's proceed with the 1,000 and 10,000. It's a little challenging. So, I have a nested if here. Okay, the first logical test is to evaluate this two cell. If this is uh, not equal to nothing, that means if there is a value in this two cell. In this case, there is a value, right? so retained if the value is uh if the if it's true then retain a thousand that's why there is a thousand here and then evaluate again the second logical test will be this uh end 
logic here, uh, if the case is uh, both of them, the thousand and ten thousands are blank, then return nothing. Now, we're here in the thousands column. Evaluate if the ten thousand column here or cell here that is equal to blank, then return as well a thousand here. Otherwise, return nothing. So in this case, it's a thousand here. The first uh, uh, nested if is uh, true, and that's why it returns a thousand. So what I did here is to just copy this formula and make some modification here. So I'm just gonna. Uh, show the formula here that we use for reference. This is the formula for the thousands. And in the 10,000, it's almost the same, but what I uh, replace here is this uh, uh, first value is true. Instead of a thousand, just retain nothing. For it. I wanted to return the thousand in the thousand columns in this case. So that's it. That's almost the same with this formula. Copy it, paste it here, replace this. Instead of a thousand, return nothing. And that's it. Now for the hundred thousand, it's a little bit different. So I'm gonna erase it. So I'm gonna need some if statement again. First logical test, evaluate if there's a value. If there is no value, then nothing. And then evaluate again. If this cell here, the thousand, ten thousand, if that, there is no value there, then retain uh, 100,000. There is a value, but there is no value here. Retained 100,000. Otherwise, retained uh, just 100. This uh, value false. So let's test it. Um, if the value is like 123,000. Like that. So the value will be 123,000. So that's it. If that is like 23,000. There's no hundred here, so that's the value. If that is one hundred thousand, then the hundred thousand will appear here, not hundred and not thousand in this case. That is a one hundred one thousand. Okay, just retain the hundred and then retain here the thousand. So that in the text join, that will be properly positioned in its own uh, places. So that's it. Let me go back again with the original example. That's it. Now I'm done with this. So let's proceed with the million. What I did is to, to just copy it and then paste it here. But instead of a million, replace that into a... Instead of a thousand, replace it into a million. And then enter. The same thing here. Instead of thousand, replace it with million. Instead of a thousand, replace it with million. hundred, we need that. And that's it. So uh, let's uh, test this. If that is 100 million, that should be 100 million, right? That is 101 million. That is 101 million. That is 111 million. That is 111 million. So that's it. That's working now. Um, the word here has a lot of if nested if and a challenging formula as well but that's it that's finished um, and then what i did is to just have this currency put peso here and then uh, that's the the last thing here the pesos only so i have an if statement again so uh, if this number here is equal to one then retain peso only without the s so let's uh, try it uh, that's it peso only Control Z. Now, if that is equal to or less than zero, what if it is zero? Then return, retain nothing. Control Z. That is uh, not the case. It's not zero. It's not negative. It's not one. Then retain pesos only, which is in this case, that's uh, the most usual answer, pesos only. So that's it. That's the if here. So we're done here. Now the last thing is. Uh, the amount in words, the final step, the answer that we are looking for. So what I did here is to make a text join actually. But again, with an if, if and or. So first, before we execute the text join, test this uh, input cell. 
if this is equal to the limit, uh, I mean more than the limit, which is 1 billion, we have uh, 100 million here. The limit is this, 999 million something, 0.99. So if that is the case, if that is more than, then that's out of range. Now, if it's negative as well, that's out of range. So let me have a, a billion here that's out of range. No uh, formula for that. But if that is a negative accidentally, you press negative one, that's out of range uh, as well. Now, that's it. That's the if or here in the out of, out of range. Otherwise, if it's normal, then use a text join. What we did here, you just have the delimiter, which is the space, and then ignore empty cell. That's why the empty cell here is being ignored. You can write true as well if you like, but uh, just leave it blank. And then the value here is just this one, uh, the word and then the remarks alternate, just like that. L19, L20, uh, K19, K20, and so on until I reach this word and uh, for the cents and then I join this peso only the currency and then I press enter and that's it now we can test that it is 120 that is now uh, working 100 and that's it let me just have a, a run between here one and the limit 0.99 that's it you see, if it's 418,587,031 pesos only. And you press F9, that's it. It's a bigger value. It's changing now. And that's it. That's the template. You can just follow it. It's very simple to work on. You need to just have a lot of ifs mid in left and right and look up. And that's it. And also text join as well. And that's it. I'm finished here. I'm done. If you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel. And see you next time. And thanks.